Meantime, a new survey from the National Federation of Independent Business indicates that small company owners have turned less certain and less optimistic about what the future holds. Kate Rogers explains. For the second month in a row, small business optimism has taken a hit. The National Federation of Independent Businesses' monthly read on Main Street sentiment showed a 0.6 point decline in March to 104.7, but the index is still holding at record levels well above the historical average of 98. Plans to create jobs, make capital outlays and earnings trends all showed gains in this month's reading, underscoring the idea that optimism is slowly translating into more hiring and spending. But uncertainty among the small business set is also on the rise. The index's uncertainty level had its second highest reading ever, partly to blame gridlock in Washington. The group's chief economist, Bill Dunkelberg, said this could be driven in part by government policy and lack of ability to plan that small business owners have, given the current state of affairs in D.C. President Trump did mention small business today when taking executive action on Dodd-Frank, saying the move would make it easier for small companies to borrow. Thank you. We're going to put many millions of people back to work. The banks will be able to lend again. So many people come to see me. I see them all the time, small businesses. They're unable to borrow from banks. They never had a problem five, six, seven, ten years ago. They had great bankers. They had great relationships. Now they can't borrow. The latest NFIB report shows that may not be the case. In fact, only 4% of owners reported that all of their borrowing needs weren't met, a historically low number. More than half said they didn't want a loan at all. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers.